Thank you, Mr. President. I rise to speak on the Recovering Missing Children's Act. The bill uh, provides law enforcement with an important tool to help find missing or exploited children. Each year, more than 200,000 children are abducted by their parents or other close relatives, according to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. In many of these cases, the IRS has information that could aid law enforcement to locate a child who's been abducted by a family member. A study by the Treasury Inspector General for Tax Administration found that in more than a third of the cases reviewed, the IRS has tax returns on file which uh, use the social security number of a missing child. Of those, 46% had a new address uh, on file, about 13.6% total. However, the IRS cannot the IRS cannot share this protected confidential information with law enforcement officials since the tax code prevents the IRS from sharing the information unless specifically authorized as an exception to non-disclosure. Both Senator Enzi and Senator Klobuchar and I have introduced bipartisan legislation, the Recovering Missing Children Act, to aid in the recovery of missing children by providing a new tool to help law enforcement officials locate missing children and their alleged abductors. The bill amends the Internal Revenue Code to permit the disclosure of relevant tax information explicitly for the purpose of aiding criminal investigations into missing or exploited children. Specifically, the Act ensures that select taxpayer information will only be released to law enforcement officials as part of a legitimate investigation or judicial proceeding under the orders of a federal judge. The act amends the law to allow for federal law enforcement to share information on a limited basis with state and local law enforcement that are part of a team directly involved in investigating and prosecuting such cases. Many investigations into missing and exploited children are conducted at the state and local level. The act provides a common sense fix that maintains the existing balance between taxpayer privacy and judicious release of information uh, that will make a meaningful difference to a child's safety. For the, for the families that are affected, the reality that their child is missing is devastating. If there's a step we can take to increase the likelihood that the missing child will return home, then we have an obligation to act. This is such a step. I'm proud to have worked with, with both senators Senator Klobuchar and Senator Enzi on this important issue since 2011 and glad to have the endorsement of both the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children and the National Association of Police Organizations. If the provisions in this bill can bring one child back to their rightful families safe and sound, it's worth it. This will assist those who have been searching and spending sleepless nights worried about their missing children and do it in a way that doesn't undermine Americans' privacy. So, Mr. President, with that, I would ask unanimous consent that the Finance Committee be discharged from further consideration of H.R. 3209 and the Senate proceed to its immediate consideration. The clerk will report. H.R. 3209, an act to amend the Internal Revenue Code of 1986 and so forth. I further ask that the bill be read. Excuse through. me. Is there objection to proceeding to the measure? Without objection. I further ask the bill be read a third time and passed. The motions to reconsider be considered and laid upon the table with no intervening action or debate. Is there objection? Without objection. Thank you, Mr. President. I yield the floor.